Hey my friends, one of the most commonly asked questions I get from those that have experienced loss is when is the right time to clean out my loved one's closet? Ugh, this is one of the hardest and most gut-wrenching things I have had to do. In week three of my Grow Through Your Grief program, I give you the crucial questions to ask yourself to see if you are ready. One of those questions are, does the thought of letting those belongings go create a panic, anxiety, and stress? If the answer to that is yes, then congratulations, you don't need to do anything. Do nothing. The time is not right. Do not add more to your plate than you can emotionally eat right now. Wait until those emotions of panic and stress change because they will. If letting go of those belongings create extreme stress, take courage that you are not alone and you do not need to clean out that closet yet. Take your time. Don't push yourself farther than your emotional strength wants to allow you right now. So beautifully said in a little bit different way from the famous Elizabeth Kubler-Ross is, quote, denial helps us to pace our feelings of grief. There is a grace in denial. It is nature's way of letting in only as much as we can handle. And if you cannot handle the thoughts of going through that closet right now, don't worry. You will get there in time. And right now might not be the right time for you. And that's okay. If you are watching and you are a friend of somebody who has lost someone and you don't know what to do, you could do what my friend Sweet, 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 amazing friend Jerusha did. She would text me about every three weeks and offer up her help and love in cleaning out that closet. And several times I declined and said, no, thank you. I literally could not wrap my mind around that at all for several, several months. And that was okay. And something that is a light at the end of the tunnel for that instead of this weight that I felt I was carrying and dragging of something that I had to do to to get through that closet my sweet amazing friend and her family turned several of those Levi's jackets and shirts into blankets for my sweet kids my three sweet kids and myself and my nine-year-old sleeps with his blanket every single night. So instead of those clothes being a symbol of pain, they have now become a symbol of comfort and love and peace. And I give you in week three of my Grow Through Your Grief program, a lot more ideas on things you can do with those clothes. A great and sweet friend of mine that I have also been helping through his grief journey messaged me last week and we talked and he is now getting remarried and he said Camille I am just now going through my wife's clothes is that bad and I said no it's not it's okay if you have waited months if you've waited years it's okay and that's why I want to do this grow through your grief program to help you realize grief is unique as a fingerprint. Nobody grieves the same. And if it takes you X amount of time and it took somebody else, Y, that's okay. Grief is individual and grief sucks. (laughs) Grief is hard and grief is messy, but I'm here for you. Like I had wished someone was here for me. In my Grow Through Your Grief program, we have amazing curriculum to go through that are going to help you realize you are not alone even though you are lonely 
Grief Warriors, I love you and I'm here for you. And if you need payment options on the Grow Through Your Grief program, I have that as well. So click the link below and you'll be able to find out how to sign up and how to get more information on my Grow Through Your Grief program that starts tomorrow. Love you, Grief Warriors.